what, um, how can students learn or see more about special collections if they're not on campus this semester? Um, Alicia, why don't you just keep going? Yeah, on well, like I was saying, about. yeah, we, um, we really try hard to digitize a lot of our materials since they are unique and rare. Um, and a lot of times you can only get them here in special collections, the most used or the most unique we scan them or digitize them or make them available through our digital collections. So you'll find a lot of our unique material available there. Like Chris was saying, all of our yearbooks, um, since I'm the University Archives especially, we have our athletic programs that we're going back through all the sports and digitizing those that people really like to look at. Um, we have some of our um, you know, manuscripts in modern political archives that we're digitizing and making available so that people can get to that and they don't have to come into the reading room to access our rare materials. But we're also available, um, the archivists ourselves are available through email um, throughout the pandemic to set up times and talk with you about different collections or even getting you access and scans to the material that you might not be able to um, come in and do yourself. Yes, absolutely. Um, Laura, Chris, would you add anything onto that? Other ways that um, people can access or look at some of the things that we have? I'd just like to, to say that it doesn't hurt to ask to reach out to um, somebody in special collections, um, one of us, um, and, and just see um, what, what we can tell you um, uh, how we can answer your question. So um, even if you think, you know, you might not have something about this particular subject, we might, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, absolutely. Also, we might be able to find an archive that does. So if we don't have it, we have some good contacts to figure out where else they might be able to find it too. 